Good morning, this is Grandma Freeman, and I am continuing with the Mayo Clinic diet. I'm at the end of week three, and I have lost some weight, and uh, I feel better about that and about myself. I'm trying to lose belly fat, so I need to, um, I need to walk more to tighten up my muscles, my stomach muscles. And um, so this week, we're going to review, I'm going to review chapter four of the Mayo Clinic Diet Plan, our book. And the bonus number one is to keep food records. Write down everything you eat, including the kinds of food and amounts. By knowing what you're eating allows you to identify problems with losing weight. And then on pages 208 and 235 of this book, there's a food group serving sizes. And this really is a helpful thing for me, especially because... Excuse me. <laughs> it uh, shows, this shows all the different food groups. For, for example, this is the protein dairy, and it shows you, it shows you it, everything that you might be eating, and it shows you the serving sizes, the different kinds of cheeses, and how much you you're allowed for each serving size. And these red star, I mean, excuse me, blue stars, they are an indication of the best choices. Lentils, fish is, most fish are very beneficial to your health. Chicken, and you can even have cheese on this diet minimally. And here's some more over on, on this page. Milk, skim milk, or 1% is recommended. And that's a, that's a best choice. Tofu and tuna, turkey, yogurt, low fat, unsweetened or um, reduced calorie with fruit. So that's, this is why the book is so important to me because it's, it's a self-help book to me and it helps me stay on track and remember what I, the portion sizes are. I'm getting to the point where I don't even have to look at that. I know exactly how much I'm allowed on my particular diet plan, which has to do with my um, that I'm a female and also how much I weigh and how much I want to lose. Okay, also, um, okay, we'll go on to bonus number two keep activity records, the kinds of activities and duration and intensity. You need to write all that down and keep um, keeping records helps you to establish. Uh, exercise routines. List all your household chores, hobbies, recreational activities, and ex the exercises you do. Move more. That's uh, bonus number three. Walk or exercise for 60 minutes a day or more. Increase your physical activity, burns and more calories, and increases your health benefits. Take in mind your medical and physical limitations. Consult your physician if need be. Number four is eat real food. Eat mostly fresh and healthy frozen or canned foods. Limit limit or avoid the more processed foods. Processed foods may lose added or may have more added fats, sugar, calories, and salt, and write down your daily goals is a bonus number five. Goals keep you motivated and help you stick to your program. So that's chapter number four in a nutshell. <laughs> and um, so this is 
the end of the lose it phase, and actually that's supposed to only take two weeks, but I extended it three weeks because my weight uh, is not as heavy, but it's too heavy. I'm overweight, but I'm kind of in the middle. So it's harder for me to lose weight on this uh, 1,200 calorie a day diet that, that I'm on. So the more, you, let's see, from 250 to, okay, if you weigh less than 250, you get a certain amount. If you weigh more than 301 pounds, you get a little bit more food. And then if you weigh more than that, you can have more if you're a female. And then it changes for the men. From And the thing about that is that you need to pick the right program and the right uh, amount of calories. You don't have to count calories. That's one nice thing about this diet. You don't need to count calories, but you need to uh, stick to the amounts. Uh, the portion size is critical when you're trying to lose weight. So it's, I would recommend getting this book. I'm not selling this book and I don't work for the Mayo Clinic diet. I'm just uh, going over this for my benefit and for anybody, if I can help anybody choose this diet, it's really a good one for elderly people because um, you need to cut down on the amount of meat and and dairy that you're taking in every day and uh, because your body is changing and you're not getting enough as you age your body is changing you're not getting enough exercise and you have to be careful about the amount of exercise that you're um, getting because excuse me I it seemed kind of dark I was trying to okay uh, you need to really consider how, if whether or not your doctor wants you to exercise and what type of exercises. Aerobic exercise is strenuous and your doctor might want you to walk, but you should consult him. Um, if you're over 65, I would say consult your physician uh, about how much exercise and even about whether or not you should go on this diet. He might want you to go on a, a different type of a diet depending on what your physical and health problems are. Well, anyway, that's everything right now. And the next chapter is kind of uh, sums up what you've learned. So uh, I think I'll go on to that, but after that, I'm not sure. I may just film what I'm eating and show you my portion sizes. And But remember, um, with oils and fats, you need to think in teaspoonfuls and limit those. I only get three uh, teaspoonfuls of oil a day or a teaspoon of butter if I'm using that to cook with. And um, let's see, I think... It would be best if you got a book or if you went online. Let me show you this one more time here. This is the web address for the diet.mayoclinic.org. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye now.